you met, stranger. Uh, welcome back to Caves of Cud. Uh, we are gonna head to the Rust Wells. It's good to get back to the basics, you know? We're gonna get back to the basics. First of all, you know, let's... Let's eat some fresh apple mats. That's the first thing. Second, uh, we're not gonna go down... Uh, you know, I'd love... I would love to go down underground and uh collect some extra bits and bobs but it's quite scary down there i'm not a huge fan so we're just gonna go over to the rust wells you know one thing nice one thing nice good lord one nice thing about um using a natural weapon the fact that i have a stinger instead of have like being reliant i mean there's a lot of benefits to it um, it's, I, I will, uh, to be honest, I think that mutation, like weapon based muta mutations are like some of my favorite in the game because they really take the pressure off in a lot of ways. They make things a lot easier in a lot of ways. Um, but the first way, like the very first way is that to, you can't possibly rust your weapon out. You can't lose it. Which is nice that's the that's the first good thing the second good thing is that you don't really have to ever worry about upgrading it like i don't have to worry about playing the zeta chrome gambit now i mean along with that means we can't ever modify our weapon and that sucks you know i'm not gonna lie that is a bummer but you know we don't need to modify our weapon it's got great pen it will scale with us so long as we continue to feed it with points and um you know it's gonna poison dudes it's it's gonna do a great job for most of the game now it won't i don't think it poisons robots i don't know if robots can get poisoned it's an interesting point i hadn't thought of but we're not gonna need it to poison robots because we're gonna this is the run this is the run we're finally I am finally going to become friends with robots. I've been trying to become friends with robots over the course of actual years. You, you might, you might, uh, you might say, "Well, uh, hey, uh, Bingle, why, why in the world haven't you done that yet? Are you bad at this game?" And the answer is yes, of course. I, I just don't get the very lucky rolls, but also, um, you know, I, I don't think that people understand necessarily that I do make sacrifices for the sake of keeping uh, this series entertaining. There's certain things that I don't want to do necessarily because I know they're going to be boring. One of those things is like, I don't like to do the asphalt mines really anymore because I think that it's not very entertaining to watch. Um, I don't do desert combing as much because I know it's not very fun to watch. And uh, this is the series where I'm going to say um, nuts to all that. We're going to do it live. And uh, I think what I'll do is I'm going to have a couple of like desert combing episodes where I basically uh, I, I'm going to use my little little program that makes it so that I can cut out silence. And I'm just going to I'm just going to go through the desert and keep in the highlights and that'll be the compromise because ooh, that's a spicy enemy this early are you yeah they're poisoned they should die maybe wounded badly wounded dead nice because uh you know the desert really you really do need to explore like every nook and cranny of the desert to um, get the most out of your run, like to really ensure safety. Like if you can become friends with oozes, if you can become friends with robots, if you can become friends with goat folk, and then explore the jungle without having to die to goat folk, and then become friends with the Isak not Isakari, the um, Nef Naftali, and then become friends with robots, it's, it's just like, you know, oh, oh, I thought that I was fighting the dog for a moment there. We got ourselves a cannibal. 
then uh, you know you're making you're making the game a lot easier on yourself. You know, Caves of Cud. It's a very punishing game for sure, but it's only punishing when you don't know the rules. You know, when you don't understand the really important thing, which is the friends we made along the way. Wet spiked steel gauntlets. I'm going to take those, but I'm going to continue um, kind of doubling down on my DV. Now, that being said, the gloves are pretty good. I might actually have to... Con oh, okay. That's a pretty spicy hallway. I might have to consider uh, abandoning DV for AV already. Uh, I also... I think Nerf has been doing a, a subtle job of convincing me that... Um, you can actually make a build that has both DV and AV. You do not have to sacrifice one for the other. And I mean, part of that is um, you... You can, really can uh, make Neutron Flux work for you. Uh, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful about it. For obvious reasons, because I, I am on classic mode. So, you know, we might I might still end up... Um, sacrificing DV for AV because it's just it's easier for me in general. These uh, these guys are worth 10 XP and that's why I'm going to so much trouble to kill all the kudzu. This this early on a little bit of extra XP is uh, quite nice and in fact the actual kudzu bark is fairly valuable as well. I am playing a little bit fast and loose right now, but it is Rust Wells. I don't expect to see anything too nasty. But, uh, you know, I'm also trying to practice safer techniques. Okay, so we got our... We, we, we got to level up. We have a bunch of skill points. Um, can we start putting some points in the long blade? We can get swipe. We can get swipe and lunge. Both of those. We should get Swipe and Dueling Stance, but Lunge is better, believe it or not. Lunge is actually really good. Um, attack an opponent and then Lunge backward two spaces. Uh, lunge through an enemy space, which is the one that uh, gives us an extra sting attack. Uh, da, 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 always sting on charge or Lunge. Okay, so Lunge... Lunge is basically an extra sting attack, so we'll take Lunge. Uh, and I'm also going to take Swipe. May as well take... Hmm. While wielding Long Blade, you get plus two to hit with Long Blades and Short Blades. Ah, that's really nice. If we take Dueling Stance, then I can... Uh, what I'll do is I'll equip those gloves. And um, our DV is not completely nuked. It's it's just kind of nuked. I mean, we're going to nuke it a bit more now here. Yeah, so now we're at DV4. But we have plus two to hit. So, quite good. Ooh, look at this room. Why did my dude attack the copper wire? Oh, he didn't. He just, <laughs> he just attacked the kudzu. And then the kudzu stem took the same tile spot. Why are you attacking the wall, my dude? You know, I have I have diet. It's 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 gonna be really funny getting back into the mindset of you die in the game. You you die a little bit in real life because you know classic mode is a very different mindset, and I have not played. Oof. It's a little bit spicy there. Well, it's not spicy. It's just um, um, there's a lot of things. Wow. Oh no. Okay, I better be a bit more careful. Our our uh, spike gauntlets are now rusted, and so if I take another if I take another hit, I could potentially lose my only armor. I guess I better go back into defensive stance because then we'll have our DV back. Uh, Rust Wells really sucks. Not a fan. Where are the stairs? Good lord. 
Oh my god. We have a slumberling. Didn't expect to see a slumberling, to be honest. Really hoping that they don't get waken, woken up by a hermit, for instance. Where, where are the stairs? Where are the stairs? Get me out of this hell. Oh, this is a nightmare. Bronze ingot rusted. We just lost a hundred drams. I should really, like, I think someone suggested this to me, like, ages ago, but we really should, um, put our valued goods in a box before we go to Rust Wells so that we don't lose them. But then I would have gotten the spiked gauntlets, I would have put them on, and then we would have guaranteed that we lose them, basically. So we need to go to one more rust wells in order to make up the rest of our wire. I don't know, did I, how much wire did I collect? I don't think I got all of the 50s. Is this broken? Yeah, it's broken. Got a lot of kudzu stem. That's actually pretty good money. How much wire do we have? Oh, we're missing like 10. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop our spiked steel gauntlets here because I really don't want to lose that. I don't really mind. Oh, magnetized boots? Good lord, that's quite a nice find this early. Oh, we don't have to... Can I throw... Oh yeah, uh, Nar I remember Narf was lamenting somewhat the fact that you can't just like throw something from the me that menu. Okay, um, we've got a uh, slug snout at the base of this rust well, so I really don't want to go that far. I just want to... Oh, there, there's our 50 right there. That is very convenient. Okay. We are leaving. I'm not gonna bother with that snapjaw warrior or whatever scavenger. And we're gonna go collect this stuff back and go back to Jopa. You're lost in the canyons. Classic. Classic lost in the canyons. We've got a chameleon. Go ahead and wait. Oh, yeah, we have lunge. So, okay, yeah, that, that's nice. Uh, lunge is actually really, a really nice, um, when you're in defensive stance, it's a nice little escape. Oh god, this is the one thing you don't want to really encounter in the canyons, and yeah, we, we have encountered it. But we do have pretty good survival skills here. So first thing I'm going to do is lunge at them. That poisons them and also jumps away. Then we're going to walk... A little bit away and let the poison take its toll wounded badly wounded and then we're gonna sting them look at that killing soul hoppers without taking any damage i love this build this is definitely my new favorite build i really i really want to beat the game what do you mean i'm lost i've been here I've been on this tile. How can I be lost? That's a weird one. It should it should uh, being like I recall this area. Strange. That's a that seems like a bug. That should not be happening that way. I don't know. Maybe there's something I don't understand about recalling. wonder what that sound is. Oh my god! What the heck are you doing here, bud? Oh, they're, they're actually friendly. Neutral impossible. Arch der dervish of the sightless way and mechanimus convert. There's probably a mechanimus legendary over there. Maybe? What in the world are you doing here? You ask about your location and are no longer lost. Live and drink. Do you have anything? Nope. That is very strange. I have never seen anything like that before. Hanging around in the, the freaking canyons. Oh. Okay, we want to be a little bit careful here. Please come to my east. Thank you. Lunge. Um, I missed. Okay, let's just hit them with a the stinger and then walk away. That should be enough to kill them. 
Are they dead? Yeah, they are dead. And then let's hit the salt hopper. I mean, this is a pretty good XP. Oh, they also, you're famished. Oh, that's gonna be, that's a, that's a bummer actually. They are, they are poisoned. Walk away a bit. They're not quite dead. Lunge, now they're dead. Um, let's have a bite to eat. We're no longer lost, so I'm just gonna grab a bite and then we're gonna go back to Jopa. I swear to God, I hate the canyon so much. Please nuke them from orbit. I, 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 do, oh, thank you. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. I mean, the nice thing is that the, the worst thing that we could encounter is a salt hopper. But the fact that I have the means, thank you for that, Ivory. The fact that we have the means to kill them, but oh my good lord, we are encountering a lot of salt hoppers, are we not? Um, do a lunge on them. They managed to dodge our poison. Uh, I'm getting that antsy feeling of uh, the game has it out for me right now. I mean, I'm encountering McKenna's convert or not, I'm, I'm encountering Arch Dervish of the Sightless Way. Hello, baboon. That was actually really good XP for a single hit kill. Let's just go ahead and kill some baboons and level up. We've got some tortoise. Love me a tortoise. Um, more tortoise. Go ahead and auto attack kill a tortoise. All right, All right, we're still lost. Oh wait, there's a hermit here. Thank you. Thank you, hermit. You'd think that the hermit would not be able to tell you about your location. You'd think that they just wouldn't know because they don't care. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong about that. Okay, um, Argive. Take, take my wire and give me a recoiler and I level up and we are good to go. We are solid. Now, the question is, what do we want to do next? Because the thing is, is every time I go to Great Gate, right after I get the quest to go to Great Gate, I die every time. It's always, it's a, it's a way more vicious path than uh, you ever give it credit for. Like it's, it's, it's nasty. Um, so I don't really want to do that just yet. I am going to rob Jopa. I'm just going to have a look at what they've got. I don't think they've got anything good right now. I don't think this is a good Jopa. Um, ah, I can't even rob that one. Um, let's talk to Tam and do a little bit of trading. I do have to check out these um, artifacts. So let's go ahead and sit down. I usually don't care about sitting down to examine things, but like, you know, where are all of our artifacts? I have enough artifacts right now. What? What? Oh, right. Tam is the one that has all the artifacts. My bad. All right. Um, I wouldn't mind selling some stuff. I do. We do have some fix it spray foam, so. Why don't we go ahead and use that? I know this is kind of a waste, but we're gonna get more of that, it's fine. And um, fix our spiked steel gauntlets. We'll equip those and then we'll go back into dueling stance. And actually I'm gonna move, um, I'm gonna move these to the bottom. I should do a tutorial about this new, uh, hot bar menu it's really really nice and it's actually very accessible like i don't think that i think the the average cud user would be able to uh, you know parse it out but all the same i feel like someone out there will be confused and intimidated by it but i think it's i think it's really quite nice uh we have a new recoil button i kind of want to add that to the end as well um not that i'm not going to use it but i just think that it's a good button for zero 
when we get more abilities uh those get, will get added to the end we have five mutation points let's go ahead and throw those i like to throw those on multiple legs until i have 100 point uh plus 100 move speed so that you know now we're at double we can start throwing points into other things uh i wouldn't mind throwing some points onto mental mirror i know that's a weird one but I think you'll uh, agree that in the early game, a mental mirror can can be quite nice, um, especially when you're trying to make your way to to uh, Greek Gate. Uh, heightened quickness would be a good one to throw some points on. We don't want to spread ourselves out too thin. Now that I have double move speed, I, I'm actually I think I'll leave multiple legs alone for a little bit. Um. I don't think that it's going to be necessary to double down on that for a while. Um, we could put th some points on Stinger, but I, I kind of just want to like put our rapid advancements on Stinger. And I actually, I'm, I'm pretty content for now. I might actually hoard a few points and try maybe take another uh, mutation. I don't know what I want, but you know. So the question is, where do we want to go? Do we want to go to Gritgate? I kind of don't want to go to Gritgate. I kind of wouldn't mind ch checking out a historical site. Maybe it's a little pre premature for that, but we'll just have a look. We'll definitely check out some ruins. Um, I'm going to be careful about these, you know, especially in the salt dunes. We're early and we can die fairly easily. We have a uh, Isakari. Isakari is fine. We can take on an Isakari. Don't even know if we have to use any skills on an Isakari. We'll collect a few daggers. And, um, you know, try and make up some money. Oof. We might actually have a legendary... We might have a legendary Pewtis Templar. That could be dicey. Um, how... Okay, Templar Squire. It should be okay to fight a Templar Squire. Lunge. Oh, we're in dueling stance, so I'm not doing my step back. And now it's too late to... Are you poisoned? You are poisoned. So, we took uh, some nasty damage. Where did you go? Oh, you died. Nice. I'm gonna be kind of cautious. I actually, I think it would be a good idea to wait for daytime. The uh, one thing about waiting for daytime is if there's ranged users they can hit you probably before you can hit them I'm not seeing any more pewtis templars so that might have been it might have been just that one lad um i'm actually going to switch to defensive stance i was kind of digging that lunge backwards that is a really nice little uh maneuver i really like that actually oh oh we should be okay yeah we're okay it's a nasty way to encounter a turret, but actually it could have been way worse. Encountering a turret like when you're right in front of them could do worse. Where are we? Yo, straight up, where are we? Oh, we're green and I'm blending right into with the trees. Kind of look tree shaped in some ways. Lunge. I love that. The lunge with the stinger like to poison them and then just like let them let them die on the poison that is such a good maneuver how have i how have i played this game for so long without uh you know discovering that centipedes are only worth 30 now i think we can start smacking them our av is probably not good enough to tank everything but, you know, it's not bad. Uh, really, we should recover before we go taking on more things. Oh, yeah. I knew there was a nest. That is, this reeked of nest. We have double movement speed now, so we can really just kind of walk away from stuff. We don't even... Like, we... I, I may never actually hit the sprint button in this entire game. No joke. Now, no promises. This is not a no sprint run, you know, that's, that's like a double pun here. I don't know. Maybe it's just one pun.
plunge. Being a little bit careful, although I am taking quite a few hits. That nest is probably almost spent. I'm actually going to make a run to kill the nest because I think they run out. When they run out, they just it just disappears, and I would prefer to kill the nest first because I think you do get... Yeah, we got 250 XP for that. So it's a bit of a risky maneuver, but, you know, you get a little bit of extra XP. Um, let's go ahead and sting that lad there. Back up a bit, because we're taking some damage. These guys are pretty chump, chumpish, but all the same, they can hurt us. And it would be foolish to die. That's a new statue. I don't remember that statue at all. Maybe, maybe I just haven't seen it before. After striking a deal with succulents, Oridates confirmed them to help her found a workshop in Museum Precinct to Duzor for the purpose of glass-blowing mirrors. They named it the Prismatic Workshop. So, succulents, huh? Um, friends to plants? Should be good, actually. That could be a very good sign that maybe some of our late-game uh, historic sites are... Uh, filled with plants. So we have visited, we are here at Dupur. I'm a little bit, oh, is this in the canyons? I thought this was in the desert. Um, canyon? Was it, was that a plant? Was that plant a, no, okay. I was wondering if that plant was part of the cult. Probably a little bit premature to come here. Ooh. Okay, back, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Excuse me. Glowcrow, what are you doing? Why are you an enemy? Are you a cult member? Oh, you are. I'm sorry. Um... They're going to prove to be annoying. There we go. They're dead. We could stand to have a ranged weapon. Wow, that guy was a bit tougher than I gave him credit for. What did he have? Didn't seem like he had nothing or anything. Sorry. Duck behind cover. Oh, this guy. Lunge. He managed to avoid my poison. The first time, anyway. Second time, not so much. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take swipe. And then the next skill tree we're going to dive into is going to be single weapon fighting. Uh, I think I do want to get in, uh, have shields in this this run uh i definitely want to have charge because that's going to be another poison like we're going to take all of the skills that give us an extra poison which is going to be nice because we're we're going to be able to like really poison the heck out of everything so i'm not sure just yet what we're expecting to see in this historic site but so far it seems to be plants so yeah we have a historic site with plants as our major enemy not really sure if there's anything that i would be oh, okay hermits hermit sucks they can they can pack a punch surprisingly we are fighting kudzu again which kind of sucks Oh, we have another campfire. Can't cook with hostiles nearby. Ooh. Just gonna close that door. I wonder if that turret was... part of the cult. You're gonna hear me say that a lot, and the reason being is, like... Ooh, slug snout. Oh, that sucks. I think we can take on a slug snout now. Um, okay. I actually don't want to lunge them because then they'll be at range. So we're going to sting them. 
I'm actually going to take um, some Witchwood Bark now. Just so that we're keeping up with whatever they dish out. There is a there is a not 0% chance that we die there. Really? Oh, good lord. We are frozen. That hermit had a freeze grenade. Honestly, it could have been much worse. Strange tubes. I'm pretty sure those are just straight up. That is a chair. Yeah, that's a chair. Okay, um, I won't lie. I'm a little bit nervous. Slug snout. Oh god, are, are we fighting pigs? Yeah, that's not the last slug snout we're gonna encounter. So we're fighting plants and pigs. That may mean that our future historic sites have like two headed boars or two headed slug snouts. Not the worst thing, honestly. Like, very, very late game. Not even very, very late game. Mid game. Uh, two headed boars and two headed slug snouts are not a big problem. I'd rather fight that than like. Robots. Robots really are the worst faction to go up against because um, we'll take that actually. Because even mid game, you have to contend with saw handers. You you know you know how exactly how much I hate saw handers. Like I I just don't want to have to deal with saw saw handers basically at all. Uh, we are at the end of our episode. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button. We'll continue continue here in this historic site for now. I think this is a good place to start and maybe we'll get our first historic item. Um, yeah, maybe consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.